by stroke of luck, I moved to the uh, Northwest in around 1968 and became part of the NTL Northwest, which was led by a man named John Wallen, who was a Harvard PhD and a post PhD, and I mean, a brilliant man. And by luck, I worked probably a dozen trainings with him where he and I had one group we co-trained. It was amazing. And uh, John had a discipline about uh, emotionality, the description of feelings rather than the expression. For instance, how can I learn to say what I feel directly rather than use language like I feel that, which is a thought, or uh, just swear at somebody, which is okay at times, but nevertheless, it's not what we're trying to learn in the T group. Uh, how can I describe my feelings? I'm sad, mad, glad, afraid right now. How can I learn to do that? Most people can't do that. And uh, the second thing that he did was he taught the skill, which I think is a most necessary and profound skill of behavior description. That is, how can I describe what you're doing with uh, short of my judgments, not using my judgments now? We have some activities we do where we'll walk across the room and ask everybody to take notes about what we're doing. And for instance, just to give you an example, I might put my hand on the shoulder of someone. Or later we say, no, describe what happened. Well, somebody said, you hit him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Another person say, you placed, uh, very few people say, you placed your hand on the shoulder. Some of them say, you slapped him, or you uh, tapped him, or you uh, patted him. Well, see, all those have emotional components to them. They're not descriptions. What's the description is that I place my hand on the person's shoulder, and I usually do it by design three times. And hardly anybody gets that. Uh, what they're into is their own emotionality, uh, and the most the strongest in this would be when somebody says, you got in his space, you know, which, again, is a, a family of origin issue. It's a therapeutic issue. But in order for people to be able to give feedback, it means that you have to be descriptive of the behavior and not confuse it with your judgments about the behavior. If an OD professional or a change management professional or a therapist or any professional, anyway, doesn't know how to describe behavior separate from my judgments about the behavior, then we're in trouble because that's the scientific core of OD and T groups. If you can't do that, you don't, can't possibly understand emotional intelligence. Recently in a training, we had somebody arrive who had just spent three days at an emotional intelligence conference. She had no clue about this. She had no clue about it. She thought she was emotionally intelligent now because she had spent three days at this conference. Uh, to get her to, to name her feelings was a huge effort. And to get her to describe the behavior as opposed to laying her judgments on people was huge. She, in our estimation, in no way was demonstrating what we would call EQ, emotional intelligence. There's a couple other skills he had. He teaches a lot. John Wallen uh, actually wrote a book with Carl Rogers in 1946 to help with returning servicemen, and uh, they featured some listening. In it. And John developed his thing of paraphrase. Um, and his paraphrase is simply whatever words I'm using right now, for instance, you listening to this are interpreting in your own way. And two of you may turn and say, he said this, and the other one, no, he didn't, he said this. Or he meant this, really. So uh, learning to paraphrase, and then also, finally, uh, what John called perception check. Uh, and that's where he differed with Carl Rogers. Carl Rogers would say, at least as I think of it, I want you to reflect the feelings in something. And John would say, you can't do that, you can only you have your own unique perception, you can only check 
are you angry now? as an inquiry. And that that is a very important dimension in his training. So those were the skills that John brought into this. And when I went back east, I was asked to do a trainer of trainers at Green Lake, Wisconsin, combination NTL um, Association with Creative Change, which was a, a church trainers. Maybe they were the ones that invited me, uh, and not NTL, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I went back and I did this train with about 40 trainers. And I can tell you that what I just said about the Wallen skills was revolutionary to them. They were off in mainly the psychological elements and not at all caught up in these, these skill elements, let alone the group process elements. 